hello, 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 and welcome back. Um, so, I've been away for at least, I want to say, a month. Um, that has to be the minimum, because I can explain why I've been away. I have got a new job, which I think I've spoken about that I was getting. I got it, I'm here, I'm doing it, but it keeps me traveling a lot. Um, for example, I, over the last two weeks, have been home for four hours. <laughs> Otherwise, I live in hotels now. <laughs> so it's, it's a real life change. But I thought, I was like, I don't want to stop this. I really enjoy this. I really enjoy everything about it. So we're going to continue it, but it's going to become almost like a travel channel at this rate, because I travel up and down the country. Currently, I'm in Stoke-on-Trent. Um, but tomorrow, still in Stoke on Trent. But next week, <laughs> I'm in Manchester, and then I might be back down to London. So it's a lot of hotels, a lot of travel, a lot of fun. So I thought we'd do a bit of like a MTV's Cribs, but also hotel reviews, and um, just almost like the vlogs, really. But this. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna talk to you about the hotel. And then we're gonna natter about it. So, I am in the Best Western in Stoke on Trent. Does it say the actual one? No, it doesn't say the actual one. Just like central Stoke on Trent, um, which is like North England for any of the people who aren't in England. Uh, and I'm here. I've been here since Monday, or even Sunday. I've been here since Sunday. So I've, I've paid to stay here from Sunday through to Friday. Um, I'm not gonna lie, first impressions of the room, they, they didn't finish cleaning it? Or alternatively, I don't know, it wasn't finished for sure. I'm pretty sure it wasn't finished. But, let's have a little tour around. So this is, this is my door, this is where I come in. You enter in, and you've got a little, little hidey hole in here. We can even get in here a bit. Oh god! We're into the hidey hole. Um, so I don't ever tend to use these when I'm traveling because I am an idiot. Um, so then you've got the bathroom across the way. Bathroom's all right. It's fairly decent, got a little, little towel rack. This is baffling, right? It, it's empty. Um, but they did clean today. And I've been here, as I said, so. Been here since Sunday. So I came in on Sunday, it wasn't fully cleaned. Then I stayed, of course, Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday night, but Wednesday today, and it's just been cleaned again. Not that I care or that I'm super precious and I need my room cleaned every day. I'm just saying I don't know their cleaning schedule. But I would have thought when you come and clean, you'd fill my soap dispenser. And my bloody, my bloody shower dispenser is, is empty yet dripping somehow. Luckily, I bring my own, because <laughs> I'm a fancy boy. Um, so yes, decent bathroom, does all right. Caution, towel rail, hot. It's, it's cold, I, I've never felt it hot. Um, so then we have the room. The room's quite nice. Here's all of my stuff on two chairs rather than in a wardrobe or a chest of drawers. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. As I said, it was just cleaned today. Um, and I've already brought a beer in and some crisps and hummus and fruit. Because i got to live healthy. you got to live healthy when you're on the road. If you're on the road, live healthy. Because it'll catch up to you, I goddamn swear. Um, but it's alright, it's got a TV. Um, again, my bed wasn't like fully made when like I... I turned up, like, the, there was a towel in my bed on this side and it was sort of askew. I was just like, I turned up at 10.30 at night, uh, like half an hour before checking clothes. So I was, just, I was just like, I don't care, I'm gonna come in. My biggest gripe though, I mean like the room is, the room is very standard, very good, very just roomy. I mean, it's, it's a room. Um, I couldn't ask for anything else. My biggest gripe though, we're coming to it, don't worry. Where is it? Where is it? Right, it's here. By all the mess. This, this is the card they gave me, right? 
We're gonna try and do this ever so professionally. Oh my God, it's already going horribly wrong. So I need to bring my stand with me if I'm gonna keep doing these, but I am gonna keep doing these. So I'll bring the stand. They gave me this card. It's a credit card sized like door card. Like you just, you tap it and you go in, right? But they told me, oh my God, this is so confusing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We'll get better at this. We'll get better at this. We're going to keep going. Um, they told me that if I keep this by all of my credit cards and cards, it'll break the card. So what's the point in giving me this card? Give me a different type of card. Like It's expected to go in my wallet and be with me. So give me a different card. Very baffling. But anyway, let's let's cut back to the other, other side so at least I can talk a bit easier. That was my biggest gripe. Oh, no, it wasn't my biggest gripe. It wasn't my biggest gripe. Oh, my biggest gripe is I turned up here. So I turned up 10.30, as I said, and I had booked it not like, only like five hours before, maybe. And like, I've paid a decent amount for the hotel. And I turn up and I like, I park, so the parking's like just there. And you park outside the building and it's like a car park that they must own. I turn up and I come in and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, signing in, Oliver, cool, yeah, here's your room. And they were like, oh, do you drive in? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, I'll just register your car on this thing. So I register my car and they go, so you're going to have to pay for the parking. It's 7 50 a night. What, for, for 24 hours? I was like, what do you mean? I was like, no, no, no. I was like, definitely said it was free. And she was like, oh, and she was like, if it did, she was like, just find it and show me in the morning and it'd be fine. I was like, okay. Came to my room. Didn't say it was free. Baffled though. Why would I pay? Why would I pay? Like, I'm, I'm gonna round, I'm gonna average things for you guys so you have a bit of an understanding of the, the price point that we're at here. So I think I paid, cause I actually can't remember the full number. I think I paid about for Sunday through to Friday, I paid 300 plus pounds including breakfast so it's not bad it probably works out to be about 60 pounds a night but then i pay an extra 750 a night just to park my car which i was just like no so i don't want that don't want that at all especially when two minutes down the road there's a car park for three pounds fifty i paid it anyway because i didn't know and i didn't know what was going on and i hadn't been here long but they need to just include it in the price. It was baffling that like, I paid to stay at your hotel and you charge me extra for the parking. I was just a bit like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me, it's very confusing. But I paid it and it's just annoying. So yeah, I'm here. Um, rating, we're gonna start a rating system. Um, bam, we're gonna move to this side and I'm gonna try and look at the camera still. Ratings are gonna be here maybe, I don't know. Can I edit this well enough? Um, I need to try and get a laptop that's a bit better for editing on the go. Um, but breakfast is okay. The room is okay. It's a little dated, but it's okay. Parking was a real annoyance. The card is a real annoyance. Um, staff are nice here. We're gonna do it out of five. And I think I give this hotel a three. Purely because the parking is a big annoyance for me. And so is the card. Because I've twice now, I'm on the third floor, twice now, I walked all, my ass all the way up because the elevator was broken initially. I walked all the way up to the third floor, tap my card, brr, doesn't work. I have to walk all the way back down just to be like, my card's broken. They rescan it and then they go, yeah, there you go. And I go back up and it's just like, it's an annoyance. It might be something in my wallet, I don't know, but it's still annoying. So I'm gonna give them three out of five. I think that's reasonable. Um, the next hotel though, because I've stayed there already. If I can book it again, oh, we're gonna get a good rating out of the next one. So um, thank you for tuning in for this brief and interesting new segment to the channel. I'm gonna try and get some gaming videos back. But as I said, like in a two week period, being home for four hours, doesn't give me a lot of time to film and edit. So I maybe need to either get a good laptop where I can roam around a little bit more with some games and play them like in the hotel. But after some days, it is very shattering the work that I'm doing. 
So we'll see. But thank you for everyone who stayed here uh, and everyone who's continued to watch. And I'm sorry for the delay and I hope you enjoy these.